What's better than satay? Pork belly satay. For you. Good morning. Good morning. Okay, hi. You're watching Greg's B Eats, and we're here at Gimo Market and Food Centre to talk about Tai Hong Handmade Fishball Noodle, which sells fishball noodles with handmade fish balls and fish cakes. There are always long queues here, and it was started more than 40 years ago, 1975 or earlier, I believe, by the two eldest brothers, the eldest of five children, the Ng family. The two brothers started out as street hawkers at Alexandra Road before shifting into Gimo Food Centre in 1977 when the food centre was completed and they have been here ever since. The eldest brother has since retired and the stall is now run by the second brother. The name Tai Hong was actually taken from the Tai Hong Biscuit Factory that existed at Alexandra Road at that time. So come, let's have a taste. Hello, okay, we have a bowl here. Okay, we have a bowl here, and as far as hawker stalls go, right, they have one of the shortest opening times. Lah. They open at about 6 and they close at about, I don't know, 10 or 11, that's about it. Because everything is so hold out, because there's always a constant queue here. Now the fish balls and the fish cakes are the star of the show here. Now they are handmade every morning. Lah. We're trying the fish ball first. Good. So it works. It's salted a bit higher, just like an old school style. And the texture is really what you're going for. They have a lovely middle ground texture, soft but firm, and maybe a little bit towards the softer side, just a bit. But the bigger highlight is actually their fish cakes, which are cut huge. So this is an example of one, which is absolutely ginormous. It's just very irregularly cut. Lah. Then there's another one here. So they can range from big to small. But even the small is not exactly like small, I mean. Mm. The texture of the fish cake is the same as the fish ball. Lah. It's got that middle ground texture, a bit between firm and soft. It's maybe perhaps a little softer than the fish ball. And so the fish cakes are generously cut, but the special thing is that they're not fried. It's shaped like a fish cake and that's it. It's a rather unusual practice lah, for fish ball noodle stalls these days. Most fish cakes you find at the hawker stalls, right, whether from the factory or handmade, are usually fried, then sliced, and then served. I think it's like the only stall doing it in Singapore, uh, that I know of at least. If you concentrate on the flavour of the fish cake alone, you notice that they actually put a little bit more sugar as compared to the fish balls. Some people like it, some people don't. I don't mind it, it's fine. Now for the noodles. The noodles clump up very, very fast, so you really have to eat it quick. Mm. Oh, this is really just straight ahead, old school taste. Lah. Now the dressing of the noodles, because the man is actually quite rough and ready with the way he actually puts it, lah. it can be a bit inconsistent sometimes. But when it is spot on, and very often it is, lah. You know, it is wonderfully robust. It's got a hint of sour vinegar, lots of savoury sweet dried prawn, chilli sambal flavour, and a generous amount of lard oil, and large crunchy lard pieces. For so, for example, sometimes you get big pieces like this. The noodle texture is a bit on the softer side. That's my main criticism here. So taking a bit of the fish ball, but the noodles, the fish ball is underneath. And so this is really the mark of a good fish ball stall. I've said this in previous vlog. 
that they actually managed to actually balance the flavour such that the dressed noodles, the fish cakes, the fish balls, they all taste good on their own. But when you eat it together, right, you know, it tastes even nicer. And so the saltiness of the fish ball will actually boost the overall flavour of the dish. But when you eat the fish ball alone, right, it doesn't get overly salty. So taking the fish cake and a bit of noodles, Great, the fish cake is interesting. You have the taste of the dressed noodles. A bit savoury, a bit sweet, a bit lardy, a bit spicy. And when you eat the fish cake, right, the fish cake is actually salted lower, but there's a little bit more sugar. So it is actually um, less of that pow flavour, a little bit more of that sweetness. So it actually emphasises the sweetness in the noodles as a result. Now, when you eat the fish balls and the noodles, right, it's a certain savoury level which you get. But you're not going to get the same savoury level if you have the fish cake with the noodles. And so you just add a bit of soy sauce lah, to sort of like boost it to be the same. Mm. Now the other downside is also the soup. It's sweetened a bit, very slight savoury flavour. Not spring onion flavour, but that's it. The flavour is very very light. It's bordering on being like water lah, basically. You know? Okay done. So that was a look at Tai Hong Handmade Fishball Noodle, which sells handmade fish balls and fish cakes in noodles. Now, as a bit of a side note, it is really thanks to this store that you actually have quite a few good fishball noodle stalls in Singapore. Because you know, there are several fishball noodle stalls in Singapore that are run by the extended family. There's another Tai Hong Fishball Noodle stall at Bukit Batok. There's Fishy Tales at Amoy Street Food Centre and the Ruti Kitchen chain of fishball noodle stalls lah, at Holland Village and they have a few around. But they all have their own individual style for fishball noodles. Lah. And so would I travel half across Singapore to eat here? Um, yes, but maybe actually no. Lah. I would actually say no. Because in Singapore, there are actually quite a number of good fishball noodle stalls. Lah. And it's probably easier if you just do some research and actually go to one which is near your home. You know what I mean? But for those of you who actually live around the Clementi, Dover, Bukit Timah area, right, this is the place to go to. Lah. So thanks for watching another episode of Greg's Meat Eats, where you chew the whole of Singapore. Lots of birds. If you like this episode, give a like, subscribe, comment below, uh, share with your friends, and I will see you in the next one.